Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen. If you're new here, thank you very much for stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you very much for your support. And I'm gonna be reviewing a pattern I use for work all the time. It's my favorite work shirt dress. And this pattern is Simplicity 8014. That's 8014. I've made this pattern over maybe 10 times. This is what I wear to work most of the time. Each week I wear about one or two of the many of the dresses I've made. I've mainly done view B for work. This right there, for this one. I've mainly done view B for work because it's just a nice shirt dress. I like the uh, skirt. I love the bodice. I love everything about it. And of course it has a collar, so I get to pop the collar. I never go with the long sleeve. I go with a three quarter sleeve, but I get to dress this up each week and it looks like a finished, a finished, a well-finished garment. I don't have to do anything. I just pull one piece on. I just have to make sure they're ironed and ready to go in the mornings. But yeah, so today I'm gonna show you pictures of me wearing them all or pictures of them when they're just finished on the dress form so you can take a look again we're looking at simplicity 8014 and i'm not gonna go in any order because i can't quite remember which came first but i have an idea of which ones i made so i think the last one i made yeah i'm gonna go with the last one the last one i made was this um black and white one which I have not even finished, to be honest with you, because I started making it, this was the idea. I had this grand idea with a black belt and I'll put a clip up so you can see it. Um, but once I had it on, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't feel the same way about it, so to speak. So I haven't worn it yet. I haven't put buttons on it yet and I haven't made the last finishing touch, but I'll show you what the insides um, look, look like in a sense of true transparency. I always do my um, seams on the inside and the reason why I think I feel this way about this this was supposed to make a jacket like uh, either a blazer or um, my regular casual jacket because the material is really it's a, a cotton sateen and I bought this from fabrics and fabrics online but I think the fabric is too thick um, anyway this is the inside I turned it in on itself I haven't I haven't stitched it yet the reason why I haven't stitched it yet because I need to put the black bias tape in on the waist so I need to put the bias tape in here first before I can actually stitch this piece down like that if I stitched it now then this will be out so I haven't quite decided what color but normally I go with black because I've um, done the hem so I simply just turned it over and finished the hem with the, I'm trying to find it, Finish the hem with the black bias tape on here. It's French seam all the way through the pockets are done French seam all the way down as well. Um, three quarter sleeve and elasticated. So this is one. The only adjustment I've made to this one is I haven't put the collar on this one. So it's like a mandarin collar for this one. And again, um, this was supposed to be like um, one of those dresses I could dress up if I'm not going to work. I want to just dress up or uh, a workwear. So yeah, this is the last one I made and I wasn't too happy with it. So I just never um, finished it, but hopefully I'll get to do that soon. The next one, the next one I have, I think is one of the first ones I've ever made. I absolutely love this one. This fabric came from Mood Fabrics. At the time, I think I was just learning to do um, French seams, pockets and stuff. But I absolutely love this fabric. I love the material. I think it's a cotton twill, but it's on the lighter side. On the insides, 
this one's not done on the uh, with French seam. This is my first uh, one of my first experiences doing um, the dress. However, using my uh, serger as well as um, using the uh, finished foot on this machine, the Juki machine I have, and I didn't like the way it looked. Um, so I enclosed the pockets with brown right here. This one I stitched it normally and did a brown on the end. Has brown buttons on this one. And they all have this uh, belt that I just, a fabric belt, which I maybe um, might probably should have done a, a buckle or something like that, but they turned out fine. So they're all double yoked. And the inside again of this one is not French seamed, but it's lasted a long time. Again, this is not a pretty inside, but I, I still love the way it looks. So this is number two. Uh, number three. I'm sorry, I'm pulling them from under a pile. This one is number three. This one was uh, done at French seam. Bias binding tape finishes the waistline. So this one's turned under because it could, um, I could close it there. On the end, the same matching bias tape to finish the the hemline pockets were done front seam closed on the inside the double yoke this one three-quarter sleeve and I kind of turned it in on itself I made it long enough but that when I turned it over I still had this color on the end and every now and again I make the change this one has the two pockets two bust pockets and the brown buttons to match. So yeah, this is count number three. The next one is number four. Oh yes, and this fabric is cotton sateen and I got this one from Mood as well. The next one is a cotton sateen, and this also uh, came from Mood Fabric. Um, I love this fabric, I still do. This one, again, is another enclosed seam, French seam all around. Bias tape on the inside. So you see, I've had many a practice. On the end of this one, there's no bias tape for this one. And I think I didn't do this one because this is kind of a thicker fabric than the others and might have a little bit bulking. But oftentimes, if the fabric is not, I'm doing the half circle skirt, and if the fabric is not thick enough to give me that flare and to provide the stability on the uh, base of my skirt, I add the bias tape and it helps a bit to kind of stabilize or create some balance down there. Um, pockets, again, French seam. buttons to match something on the fabric and they're all double yoke so we're down to one two three four so this is number five and to be honest with you i haven't worn this one to work yet i think i'm scared <laughs> that's weird to say but yeah I haven't worn this one to work yet. When I was making it, I love the fabric, but on second thought, I'm thinking it's too bright, it's too busy, it's too, it's, it's, it's an animal print that I haven't, um, the other animal prints, let me be clear, the other animal prints that I've worn or made, they're more on the subtle side. I don't know if you can say an animal print is subtle, but this one, like, it's demanding attention, and I'm not there, I'm not there yet with this one. So I don't think I've worn this to work yet, but I've, I've, I've taken a picture in it. I'm going to um, post it up so you can see it. So this one is a cotton poplin, and this one was from Mood. I've done the bias on the inside, French seam, the W collar, 
and the elastic three quarter sleeve and it's elasticated right there. French seam on the inside. And if they're not, I would normally just say it. Pockets also French seamed. I'm sorry, this one looks like it needs to be ironed, but I promise it's French seamed. This one is just the basic turn and hem on the, on the insides. But yeah, that's it. So I think we're up to number five, if I forget. Stop counting. This one, number six. Ooh, she's bright. And I think this one was the one that made me kind of love this dress. I made it without the collar and I was like, no, I'm not gonna like it. And then I took a picture on the dress form and wow, I absolutely loved it. I think I fell in love with the pattern after seeing this dress on the dress form. She was just a beauty. I think mostly um, the fabrics are cotton poplin. I got this one, I think from fabric.com a long time ago. And I had it for a while, I had four yards of it because I got two dresses from it. There's another dress that I made uh, sleeveless that was also from this fabric. So yeah, here phones my ears in my pocket. So, this one, elasticated um, three-quarter sleeves. And I got uh, clear buttons on this one. Double yoke. French seam. This one has a matching bias tape on the inside. And closed seams on the pocket. This one was not French seam, but I used bias binding on the um, seams all the way through. And then this one, because it was a lighter fabric, I chose to do the bias uh, tape on the end because then it's so thin, but it gave the fabric some stability at the end and allowed me to swirl. This one was not for work. Um, I don't know where I'm going to wear this to, but I've never worn it yet, except for taking a picture at the park or somewhere on the block. But yeah, this one is my absolute favorite. Well, that's bad. But yeah, I love them all, but this one is my absolute favorite because it's so pretty on the inside all the way through. Everything is just enclosed and it's a beautiful color. One of my favorite colors. A bit too bright, but yes, I love it. The next one is this fun one and this one was specifically made for fall because I have some trees at the front of my neighborhood that just turn, turns this bright beautiful color in the fall and I wanted every year I said I'm gonna sew something so that when the when fall happens I'm ready for an outfit but <laughs> the time fall came and my outfit wasn't ready and I'm always ready after but I, I don't know what happened. Maybe this year I'll be ready to go out the front and get it. But yes, this is my other one. I got this fabric from Minerva. Minerva, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, yeah, I got three meters of this. And it's uh, it was marketed as a uh, cotton sateen. But it's on the lighter side. It gives a little flare and everything like that. So for this one... I had some navy blue buttons on it to match the blue going on in the background right there. This one is French seam double yoke as well. This one looks like a black. I'm not sure. It looks like a black. It's not a navy blue. It looks like a black for the waist. The pockets are uh, French seam. The inside French seam. And then along the base of the skirt for the hem, I ran out of the black, so I, ha um, I have navy blue. Looks like a very different blue from any of the blues that's happening in here. No, there is a blue. Yeah. So it's not really far off, but yeah. I have this navy blue on the end. 
I love this dress because it acts as independently it's a dress I can wear and then it acts as a duster if I just put the right outfit inside and I'm, I'm good to go so yeah I absolutely love this pattern if you can't tell by now that it's one of my favorite dress patterns I don't know what but yeah simplicity 8014 these are the only ones I have I think all the others I also have a green and white one which is a cotton sateen um, that one was made a couple months ago and with that one I was actually trying to um, work with stripes uh, vertical uh, stripes no I was trying to work with horizontal stripes um, lining up on each side and making sure they kind of match and meet each other by buttons so that was kind of my practice um, for that one it worked out well it's black white and green and I can wear it with a little um, black belt or something like that which is really cute I haven't worn it anywhere yet I've taken a picture or so in it no I haven't taken a picture in it so I can't show you myself actually wearing it but it's done in dress form haven't worn it anywhere yet so that's one and I think that's about it. I can't remember anymore. But yes, this is my um, work dress pattern that I absolutely love. I can change it up however I want it. And depending on the fabric, it kind of looks different for me. But yes, this is my favorite pattern for work. It's my tried and true. I put it on and I'm good to go. So this is my stash of work dresses that I absolutely love. Um, I've made it so much and I'm thinking of uh, trying other patterns for a shirt dress for work. I think I've just um, tested another one which it acts as a duster but it's also good as a, a, a standalone dress but I'm not so sure yet. I like the way this is polished and finished and just ready for work. So yeah, that's, well, I'm, that's what I have for you today. I'm sharing my dress pattern my tried and true dress pattern for work i love it if you have any of your own or any suggestions of any other great dress patterns uh you can let me know i'll be happy to take a look at it and try it but for right now i'm stuck with this one because it works and i like it so thank you very much for stopping by with me this afternoon and if you've lasted throughout the end of the video again i appreciate you hope to see you in the next video bye